the most luxurious food court in Japan. Hamachika. Samurai Junjiro Channel. Hi, I'm Akane Maru, born and raised in Japan. Today, we'll introduce a food court that is very popular. It reopened after renovation in July 2022, and it's a hot spot. We'll show you many meals, such as classic foods and foods that you can rarely enjoy in a food court. Now, let's get started! Here we are at Yokohama Station. Our destination today is right in front of the exit. Here we are! This is where the food court we'll introduce today is at, CL Yokohama. It is directly connected to the station, and there are many shops and restaurants. At the third basement floor of this building, there's the food court. Let's take the escalator. There, we can see it! This is the food court we'll introduce today, Hamachika. It reopened after renovation in July 2022 and is the newest food court. There are 13 shops here and you can taste meals from all over the world. The famous seafood Japanese pub, Isomaru Suisan, opened a store in a food court for the first time. It is popular since you can eat fresh fish at a very low price. I especially recommend crab cream croquette. It is such a luxurious croquette with crab meat and tartar sauce topped. It is crispy on the outside and creamy on the inside. It is amazingly delicious. Okay, let's go to the first shop. Oh, before we eat, let's have a beer. This is Craft Beer Specialty Store, Tap 9. At this store, they would always wait for you with nine kinds of craft beers. We chose two kinds, one that's their original and one that's popular among ladies. When I see a beer being poured, it looks more delicious than ever. Here. Cheers! We chose this sweet beer that has pineapple in it and their original which has bitterness. Isn't it awesome that you get to have authentic craft beers at a food court? Now, let's go and get food that matches the beer. Let's start with Shumai Tonshu. It's a shumai specialty store, and their shumai steamed dumplings are made from Yokohama raised pork. It's a newly launched store after the renovation. We chose the most popular pork shumai. The smell of the pork is awesome! Each of their shumai is handmade. Put some mustard on, dip it in the soy sauce, and let's eat! The roughly minced meat is plump and juicy. It is big and filling. The pork is so tender, and the meat juice spreads in my mouth. And it totally matches with the beer. The next store we came to is a newly launched store after the renovation. Hamachika Sakaba. At this store, you can enjoy good old meals that match with drinks. They also have many kinds of drinks, and the lemon sour with overflowing lemon is very popular. It is sour, but also refreshing, so it's easy to drink. The food is here! This is Oden their especially popular item. They make dashi from chicken broth, which tastes very rich. By shimmering it for a long time, 
The chicken's flavor is soaked in the ingredients. Let's start with the Japanese white radish. It is so soft. I can easily cut it with chopsticks. It is thick and big, but the flavor is soaked all the way through. Dashi is flowing into my mouth. Let's have gammo next. Gamo is mashed and fried tofu and is an ingredient necessary for aden. It has a fluffy texture and dashi is soaked in it. The black soybean adds a good accent to it. Next, classic aden, an egg. Let's break it in half. Ooh, it is half boiled rare for aden. It is creamy and goes perfectly with dashi. It's as good as an oden specialty store. Next is the takoyaki store, which is indispensable for food courts in Japan. It's called Gotsu e Honpo, and they also have a store at Kansai, where takoyaki is originally from. They have several kinds, and we chose this takoyaki today. Classic takoyaki with sauce and mayonnaise. It smells nice with the bonito flakes and dried seaweed. The outside is crispy. It is quite big, so it's filling. The roughly shaved bonito flakes have a nice texture. On the inside, the dough is moist and creamy. The octopus is cut in large pieces, and the plum texture is irresistible. All right, let's go to the next store. The next store we came to is a stand-up sushi restaurant, Oyashio. Sushi chef makes sushi at the counter right in front of you. You can change the language of the touch screen to English or Chinese. Let's order three kinds of sushi today. Before sushi is here, let's make tea. Gari, pickled ginger is here. The vinegar smells nice. It is sweeter than other sushi restaurants. Sushi is here. We are starting with salmon. This is the belly part of salmon, which especially has fat. With a sushi chef making sushi in front of you, this price is so low. It melts right after I put it in my mouth. It has no fishy smell and has sweetness. Next, Let's have negitoro, minced tuna with green onion. It has plenty of negitoro. How luxurious! It has a stronger smell of seaweed than other sushi restaurants. It is creamy and has a thick flavor of tuna. The green onion and seaweed bring out the flavor of tuna. It is big and filling. Next, conger eel. The smell is sweet and nice. It has fat and it melts. The combination of the sauce and conger eel is perfect. Okay, let's go to the next door. The last door we'll introduce today is Teppanyaki Jujunosuke. At this restaurant, they grill meat and seafood for you at the counter right in front of you. Teppanyaki is rare to find in a food court. Let's have the store's recommended Angus beef steak. While we wait for the meat, let's drink highball. It makes us drink more when they cook right in front of you. Oh! They started to grill. It's amusing that we can see how they cook. 
The great smell of the meat is making us hungry. Top it with green onion, and Angus beef steak is served. The metal under the iron is also hot, so the meat is warmed forever. Let's eat the bean sprouts first. They grill them at a hot temperature, so it's so crispy. Now let's eat the meat. It is moist and tender. The flavor of beef is very rich. It's delicious the way it is, but let's try the two kinds of sauce. First, put some wasabi on and soy sauce. The soy sauce flavor makes it taste refreshing. The hot flavor of wasabi brings out the flavor of the meat. Now with the onion sauce. It also has apples in it, so it has sweetness. Thick flavor that goes with the rice. How luxurious is it that we get to have teppanyaki at a food court? If there's any restaurant you'd like us to introduce, let us know in the comments. Please give us the thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Well, that's all for today. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.